Okay guys, welcome back. It is Punt Factor here because that one was so abysmal. We are going to go ahead and jump into League Match 2 right away. Let me make sure. Woo! Yeah, we're recording. We're doing all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, that was tough. Uh, really stupid too. Because like our game plan against Tron is typically pretty solid. Um, but we just did not draw into Knights. We did not see Ramanaps. We did not see... Um, many ghost quarters. It is fine. We have a decent hand here. Semi-decent. Uh, our two drops are strong. I do like our two drops here. We do have some acceleration into a little bit of disruption. So let's see how Voice of Resurgence fares. They did not show us any companions, so we have no clue what we are up against. Um, I like this hand kind of in the blind. This is probably some sort of control. And Collected Company is a perfect draw, so we are set and ready to roll um, for really anything. So our turn two play, if... Sweet. Thopter Foundry, huh? Okay. Windswept Teeth is perfect here. I feel like I want to Skyclave this Thopter Foundry. I think that is the best option. Let's just get it off the board. Next turn, we're gonna have the option to hold up Collected Company. Let's see if they tap out, they do. Talaria West, what are they going to get? They show us I have, okay, I was going to say, if they get a bobble, which I kind of assumed, we're going to go ahead and grab a scavenging ooze. Maybe. I think we main phase company. Why don't we, let's go ahead and swing first. While their shield's down, why don't we main phase our company? Let's see what we get. Absolutely nothing. That's awesome. Absolutely nothing. Six cards, all lands. Feels good. Absolutely feels good. That's a huge tempo swing in their favor. Um, so now I feel like they're going to war for two. Whatever they get, though, we do have a backup Skyclave. That's a really good one from them. How do we get out of this here? They went ahead and grabbed Torpor Orb. Feel like we just play our hand out here and hope for the best. We'll get in for three with the Exalted Trigger on Skyclave Apparition. Torpor Orb was one hell of a tutor card. This almost feels like some sort of, uh, well, it's obviously a Wurza deck, Thopter Sword combo. Where scavenging news is actually going to be great in this. Um, I kind of feel like we need to be jamming some more, uh, you know, running into some of our bigger, our bigger threats here. Even Mind Sensor will be a good good uh, inclusion from the sideboard because we're against Wars or uh, we're of invention. I don't really know what else we have in Snaring Bridge, but with that Torpor Orb out, that's going to be problematic. Luckily, the Noble Hierarch is going to be able to swing in, and we still have all of our two ofs. Let's 
Daring Bridge. One nice thing, we actually do have... Let's go ahead and swing first. We do have Blast Zone in our deck. Let's not forget that. They're down to nine. If we can somehow get a knight, there's another Skews. If we can somehow get a knight, we can fetch up Sorcerer Spyglass. I wonder what they're going to name. What do you name with this opponent? Scavenging news. Makes sense. Makes sense. The Jukabog is not my favorite card to see. I would love to be able to shuffle. I'll play out another Skews, because why not? Might as well play out the Bajuka Bog. There's a path to exile that is going to be absolutely useless. So they're going to use Pyrite Spell Bomb to get rid of my Noble Hierarch. And now I am left with trying to find a Knight to blast zone this orb to get rid of this ensnaring bridge. Like we absolutely have a way out of it. Chalice on one, I don't even care. Makes me feel like they, there's a knight, okay. So we are We're doing the right thing here. It might be tough, but we're headed in the right direction. So we blast zone. So here's another whir. They give us a voice token, which they don't care about. On four, what are they getting on four? The beginning of each opponent's upkeep. Excel all cards from your hand face down. Beginning of your upkeep, return all cards. Excel. Okay. Really, whatever. Kind of whatever, actually. Oh, man. That's rough. They're going to name Knight of the Reliquary, which we are no longer going to be able to get our blast zoned. Yes. So now we have to naturally draw our blast zone. So that just got a little more difficult here. Bottle Coyster does its thing. We naturally draw our blast zone. Okay. We just have to get rid of ensnaring bridge on three and swing in for lethal. That's basically what we have to do here. So we need four mana. One, two, three, four. Four blast zone. One, two, three, four. Tap. To go to three. So they better have an answer right now, or we blow up ensnaring bridge and we swing for lethal. So do we have what do we have, opponent? Honestly, these these decks are so toolboxy. Of course they have ghost quarter. Why why wouldn't they have a ghost quarter? That would just make too much sense. 
Really? You you have a ghost quarter in your hand? They have nothing on one. Wow. They had the exact card. Seriously? Let us untap. Let us untap. Are you ser are you serious? You let us untap? What? So one, two, three, four. What am I missing? So one, two, three, four. They're going to have a chump blocker. They're at seven. What well, I don't know what I'm missing here. They have the ghost corner, but they're going to let me activate blast zone. Oh no, I get it. Never mind. They're not going to let me activate blast zone. Because when I go to activate it, they are going to they are going to um, activate their ghost quarter, and that makes sense. I like wow! I got really excited for no reason. But is that how that would work? Yeah, I don't think they can actually Yeah. They don't they don't have an option like Oh my god, the welding jar. Oh my god, why didn't I see they didn't have a welding jar? Or that they had a welding jar. Oh, I should have done it on two. I punted this game. If I would have done it on two, I punted this game. That's infuriating. If I would have done it on two, I would have been able to skyclave their ensnaring bridge and then kill them. Yeah, I, I punted so hard. Oh, that feels really bad. That feels really bad. Okay, so here we're hoping for a Ramanap Excavator. We don't get it. Night. None of this matters. Night, night. Oh man, did I punt super hard. I tell you what though, they would have just, not really though, because they would have just torpor or, or um, protected their, their, their uh, torpor orb and it just really wouldn't have mattered because I would still be in the same situation. So, actually, okay, I don't feel quite as bad. Okay, so I need a way... That ghost quarter was clutch for them. I need a Ramanap, is what I need. It's what I need 100%. It really sucks that I... Uh, that's a bird. That's not a ram and app. Might as well play it. I just don't care. Cold chalice, great. This thing I cannot, can't use. I could probably just concede. Because I, like, yeah, let's just concede. I would need... 
I have an out though. If I get a ram and app excavator, I can I can make them waste their ghost quarter. I hate to concede when I have outs. Okay, E on two is getting a little getting a little froggy here. I guess I could have uh, held a land in my hand for tracker because I'm literally just hoping to draw my two of Ramanap Excavator and. Uh, Playback Blast Zone. Let's see what they're going to get here. Crucible. Yeah, never mind then. That's on three. We're good. We're good. I've seen enough. They're going to be able to loop their ghost quarters. Um, it's just going to be bad for us. Let's bring in EE. Let's bring in Aven Mind Sensor. We're not running Collector Oofs, unfortunately. Um... I don't know if Damping Sphere is really worth it. I do want to keep the Excavators in. Scavenging News is very good. Voice of Resurgence can come out. Um, Path to Exiles can actually come out. Because they're probably playing... Uh... No, maybe I, maybe I want to keep some Paths in here. Let's actually keep all of our paths. Courser can probably leave. I like Tracker to draw cards. Let's try that. I don't think we want anything else. Yeah, Collector Oof is really rad. Um, which, I mean, that might be a sideboard card we need. The meta is just, like, so diverse right now. Like, we're seeing some, like, really wonky, brewy stuff. Um, but it's really funny. Anyway, uh, I was talking about Lantern Control in my last video. And, uh, yeah, I went ahead and just bought Lantern Control. I don't think it's good. I think... Oh, God, why, why do we have such weird hands? We can't cast any of our spells. We don't have the colored mana. We have Blast Zone on one. I think we still need to mulligan. This is better. I think we can get rid of a... Let's keep... Let's get rid of a Courser. Let's get rid of a Courser. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to fetch Shock in a temple garden, play a bird. We want to basically stop them from searching early on, and we need to apply pressure. So, Avon Mind Sensor here is kind of a priority. I think... They're going to bolt the bird? No. EE -E on one... That's fine. Knowing that, I feel like we need to get our knight out just to ensure that we have we have the mana if we need it. So we can play the Skyclave and force them to pop it. They can't word of inventions yet. So why don't we play a courser, see if we can hit a land, which we do great. And I think I'm actually gonna bash in here for four. Because we can't let them get established.
So if we hit him for four, let's do a little bit of math here. If we hit him for four, they're down to 14. Next turn, we hit him for six. That's a three turn clock. No, I think we actually pass here because we can grow the knight large enough. There's a path. We'll absolutely shuffle that away. Because if we, we can grow the knight, we can go and get the blast zone. Okay, we'll grow the knight at the end of the turn. So there's the T West. That's weird. They have a T West. Let's go grab a fetch land. That's a card I do not care about. Let's grab a temple garden. There's another knight. There's a canopy. So I think this might be the turn that we want to hold up Avon Mind Sensor. Let's swing in for eight. Hold up Mind Sensor. And then we have Lethal on board. ensnaring bridge and I'm wondering if they're hoping that's good enough because it's not I didn't even have to show them that that was kind of dumb Yeah, I don't know why I showed them Maven Mind Sensor there. That was stupid. Very upset about that. Um, do we want anything else on the draw? These Path to Exiles... Does Damping Sphere screw them up? Does Damping Sphere screw them up more than it screws us up? Sure. Okay, I think we go for it. Double Avon Mind Sensor feels really good. Collected Company feels great. EE on one. Let's see if they learned their lesson from last game. Give us a land. They did not. Are you going to slow us down here? So now the fear is they they blow this engineered explosives up. They're not going to. We are going to play out even mind sensor. Fail to find a land. No, they got one. Okay. War for two. D 
do you find it through Avon Mind Sensor? Spell Skite. Don't really care about it. Okay, so what's the what's the play here? We need to start getting some pressure on them as soon as possible. So we have options. We have a lot of time to think about it. So we can get rid of the spell sky through our own engineered explosives. I don't know if that's worth it. We can play a tracker and get clues. We could cast Collected Company. That almost might be better. I feel like we company here. I think we have to maintain as much pressure as we possibly can. Our life total doesn't matter. Let's just shock it in. At the end of the day, we have... Not really what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Transmute for, you get to search top four cards. Hopefully it's something good. What do you find, opponent? A watery grave. What is the quickest way to deal with this? Tracker. Bog. Path to Exile is actually really good here. It really sucks that that was a bajuka bog and not an untapped land. Because I would love to rip that clue. Okay. I feel like we have to draw the path. If we draw the path, then we're looking at... Two, three, four... They're not going to block here. Or they're going to block here. And I want to activate. No, I don't want to activate Knight, actually. Because I'm drawing that path. So hit him for four. So then next turn we path. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. That's it. What were we going to... Oh, man, a Coco, which we would have seen... Oh, look at that. Whiffing, whiffing, whiffing. Another Haven Mind Sensor. That would have been a completely whiffing kind of collected company, but the Haven Mind Sensor we would have grabbed, obviously. Okay, so cool. Haven Mind Sensor getting in a ton of work there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that game. Um, yeah, I really wish we would have drawn a little better against Tron. Um, if Tron seems to be a thing, maybe we... Uh, you know, bring this Ramanap in. Maybe a, th a third Ramanap. Uh, 
this slot I'm just so not sure on. Like I said, tracker's great as a one-off. I don't want to see more than one tracker. So I'm pretty uh, pretty firm on, on two trackers. I think it's just a, a great mix. Um, the sideboard is obviously not even close to being ideal, nor is it sort of solidified. I haven't played enough in the meta. Uh, I mean, like, two or three leagues is not enough to uh, kind of solidify a sideboard. But I hope you guys enjoyed that game. It was pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for League Match 3. This is Punt Factor. More to come.